Hi students, um, here today with a quick listening practice for you. Um, I just want to talk about some, um, some funny yet dangerous mispronunciations that could happen when we are speaking English. Um, in a previous video, I told you some stories about dangerous t-shirts, dangerous clothing, when we don't understand the meaning of the clothing. And so here, just some funny things to laugh about, but also to keep on our mind when we think about our listening practice and our pronunciation. Um, so we're calling this, again, misadventures in teaching English. And these are some dangerous mispronunciations. We're only going to talk about three pronunciations today, um, just because we don't want the video to get too long. Um, but of course, if you have a dangerous mispronunciation that you've used in the past, leave a comment in the notes or in the, in the comments below the video, and we can add that to my list of ideas to talk about in the future. And the reason that we talk about these is not to um, punish ourselves, but to just become aware of some of the funny situations that might happen and be able to accept that it's okay, that we're going to make these mistakes. Um, they're going to happen to all of us at some point. So the ability to laugh about them, but also analyze them and think about them in the future so that we can more easily recognize our own uh, pronunciation mistakes. So really what I want you to take away from this video and if we do more about these pronunciation type of videos that that smallest change can dramatically change the meaning of the the sentence so the first one i want to talk about is this beautifully easy sentence of i will call you i'll call you i'll call you later i'll call you later now the word of call that ah 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 your mouth should be very tall and skinny call call my mouth cannot be wide on this word call you call you because if i pull my mouth out wide call you very quickly becomes kill you which dramatically drastically changes the sentence from i will call you to i will kill you um ah! this was uh, a student in my class and we had this conversation after he made this mispronunciation and we discussed the the importance of at least recognizing the mispronunciation when it happens. Another situation that we've talked about in English class having to do with this very, very simple um, question of tell me about your wife, tell me about your husband, tell me about your spouse, um, and the very innocent answer of she is 30. She is 30. The important thing to remember is that with TH, your tongue has to be out between your teeth. 30, 30. And I exaggerate. I am exaggerating my tongue so that you see it, so that you think about it. 30, three, think. Because if your tongue is not out, think very quickly becomes dink. What do you think? Think. What do you think? Quickly becomes what do you dink? Um, there were three people, there were D people, three people. Or, my wife is 30, very quickly becomes my wife is dirty. And you really don't want to be telling anybody that your wife is dirty. This last pronunciation was a conversation that we had in my classroom, um, almost four or five years ago, back when I very first started working with adults. And we were talking about places in the city, the names of different places in the city, um, the DMV, the arena, a shopping center, um, a community center. And we were talking about um, the location of City Hall. And a woman was saying she was going to the City Hall. She was going to go. She was going to go to City Hall. And again, that ah, ah, ah needs a little bit taller, ka a uh, a, uh, almost like the one we talked about, call, call, hall, hall. You need that taller and skinny mouth with city hall. 
The difficulty is that if your mouth is not tall, all, 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 if your mouth is loose and round, it becomes L, 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 instead of all, all, all. And very quickly her sentence became, um, I'm going to city hell, instead of I'm going to city hall. Um, I do have one more small piece for us to talk about, and this isn't a dangerous mispronunciation. It's just a fun one that we all make. We all make this. Even people who speak English from the time they're born make this mispronunciation, dealing with these words of chicken and kitchen. I was eating chicken in the kitchen. Because that ch and k sound just switch from one word to the other, it's very, very common to hear somebody say, I was eating kitchen in the chicken. He was in the kitchen cooking chicken. He was in the chicken cooking kitchen. Just a fun mispronunciation that all of us who are learning English make at one time or another. Okay, so ending our conversation today with this reminder that we all make these mistakes in any language even in our native language. We just need to enjoy the laugh, learn from the mistake, and keep working. As always, if you have any good pronunciations that you'd like to talk about in a future video, leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe so that you'll get notifications from future videos when they've been uploaded. And we'll see you later, students. Bye.